Hebrews, the first chapter. The Most High, who at sundry times, that's a lot of different times, and in divers ways, in various manners, spake in time past unto the, fa unto the fathers by the prophets. That's how, he, that's how he dealt with the people. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things. So anybody, if anybody is prophesying and they bringing words from the Father, they're doing it under the anointing of Christ, of the Son, as the Spirit give of it, if they of Christ. Because many are going to come saying that name, I am Christ. Like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm Christ. I'm down with Christ. I'm part of the body of Christ and shall deceive many. You know what I'm saying? But if you are Christ and Christ is in you and the words that you speak is truth, and you worshiping him in that truth and and according to the influence that you receiving from the father now you're a true worshiper it says who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his personality and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of majesty on high, being made so much better than angels as he had an, by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. That name is authority. He got more authority than any being that was ever created. He said, unto which of the angels did he say, thou art my son. You come from me. You came like, that's me. Y'all got any kids? Yeah. Uh, when you look at your kids, you be like, that's me. Like, they mm -hmm. came from me. Mm -hmm. But that, they, he, him. But he came from me. Y'all got kids that's grown? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's really, y'all know. Like, when you was, when your kids was growing up, you going upside their head and everything. Now my son, my oldest son is 27. I got one 25, mm -hmm. one 23. I'm like, uh, my son Chris, y'all talk to my son Chris. He was yeah. like, "Yo, Dad, man, you need to call Everett up." I'm like, "All right, son, I'm I'm out." He's, Dad, he called. You need to call him. All right, son. <laughs> <laughs> you handle your business, Dad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it says, "Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us." Check it out. What he did. That we should be called the sons of the Most High. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. The way the Israelites rejected Christ, he was like, I know, he says, I know y'all Abraham's seed, but ye are of your father the devil, and the works of your father, that's what you do. He says, Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doesn't yet appear what we shall be we don't know how that body is going to be he says but we know that when he shall appear we shall be just like him for we shall see him as he is every man that hath this hope in him the hope of the son the faith of the son crying abba father purifieth himself even as he is pure that's the only way that you could become ceremony, ceremonially pure if the seed is in you. What's the spiritual seed? The spiritual sperm. The word. We're looking at words on the paper, but the revelation, once you see the revelation of it and you accept that as reality and you make the decisions and choices of your life based off of your perception of that reality, then you have the faith of Christ. You have the perspective of the Son. And you have a relationship with your Father. Mm -hmm. Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High. It doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Every man that hath this hope in him purifies himself, even as he is pure. Galatians 5, 5 and 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. How did he make us free? Because now we're not under the bondage of a, a man-made system. We're not under the bondage of a carnal agreement. 
We're not under the bondage of uh, laws and ordinances that were set up to lead us to what was real. It says, stand fast in the liberty where if Christ has made us free. Because if Christ is in you, he said, my sheep hear my voice, they follow me. So now you got a real-time relationship with the Most High. Don't do that. Go over there. Sit down. Just chill. Don't even go outside. Go ahead outside. Wherever the Spirit is leading, he says they were led of the Spirit to, to Joppa. They preached the word and so and so, so and so. Everything is real time. He says, uh, Marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth. You hear the sound thereof, but canst not tell whether it comes or whether it's going. You hear the sound of the wind. The wind is there, but you don't know where it's coming from, and you don't know where it's going. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. You're going to flow in the flow of the Spirit when you walk in the Spirit. And you're going to be led as the Spirit leads you. And nobody can tell, no, no man can tell you where that's going to take you. It says, Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if you be circumcised, circumcised is, what is it? another scripture says, circumcision is nothing but the keeping, circumcision and uncircumcision is nothing but the keeping of the commandments of the Most High. If you be circumcised according to the law of Moses, and you start trying to serve the Lord, keeping the commandments, keeping the feast days, keeping the ordinances, Christ shall profit you nothing. You won't have that real-time relationship. He ain't going to talk to you. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is adepted to do the whole law. If you try to serve the ordinance and commandments and try to do that in your own strength, you owe the whole thing. You got to do it. You got to do you responsible for, for it all without failure. He says, Christ is become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law. If you think you're going to be justified by keeping the law in your carnal nature, then you are not going to be uh, show or regarded as innocent by the Most High. You are going to be remain the enemy of the Most High. And you're going to be re remain the enemy of the Most High by wicked works. Because wicked deeds are going to stay, constantly manifest themselves in your body. You're going to have demons abiding in your body, working their, accomplishing their will in the earth. It says, Christ has become known for everyone. It says, for we, through the Spirit, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. That's how we're going to be made righteous. For in Christ... Neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. We have the faith of Christ, the perspective of Christ, the passion of Christ, and we have a love to people. We recognize people as the image of the Most High. He said, you, didn't, you did run well. You was rolling, you know, keeping the commandments, keeping the feast days and all this. He says, who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? This persuasion is come of not of him that calleth, calleth you. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Here that go again. If you try to do a little bit of love, well, you know, we're just going to keep the command. We're going to keep the feast days. If you try to do a little bit, that little bit is going to corrupt your whole being. You got to totally trust the Father to manifest his will and his purpose inside of you. It's no other way it's going to happen. Because if you do that, you're going to constantly be sinning against the Most High. You will not experience deliverance. You will, you will not participate in the process, the operation of the Spirit, molding us into the image of the Son through the fire of adversity. I have confidence in you through the Lord that ye will be none otherwise minded. But he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whoever he shall be. Trying to bring you into the bondage of a covenant 
that has no bearing before the Most High. The Most High is not honoring that. You That's what's why. Crazy, bro? What's that? That um, the scripture to talk about. Can y'all hear him? Speak up, son. The scripture to talk about the veil. Yeah. It's deep because the veil, the the law was was, per, it, it purposely hid Christ from them for that time. The whole the whole point of the cup the old covenant and the old law was they wasn't supposed to see Christ. That's why Moses had the veil on his face. So they couldn't see Christ. And you know what's crazy about that? It lets you know that Christ was in the mount with the angel of the Lord. Moses saw Christ. No man has seen the Father. Moses saw Christ and he had to cover his face because he was in when he looked into the mirror, into the face of Christ, he was being changed into the same glory. So he had to veil his face so they couldn't see it. And that's why Moses said, all I got to say is somebody else is coming. I'm, that's all I'm going to drop on y'all. Somebody else is coming. And when he come, y'all better listen to him. I hope I didn't offend y'all with the gospel. Because that's what Christ and the disciples was dropping. And that's what he commanded them to tell the world. You know, that it's a new covenant. A new nature. You got to become Christ. You, you on your best day don't come nowhere close to who he is. He, gotta, he says, come, uh, he says, uh, says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open up the door... I will come into him. It's like you had to take that blood and you had to put it on the doorpost. The door is you. You the house that the blood has to be on so that the angel, the, 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 the death will pass over you. If any man hear my voice and open, I will come into him. Literally, I will come into your house, your tabernacle, that body, and dwell inside of you. And roll with you. And we'll roll it out together. He told the disciples, look, it's expedient that I go away. Because if I don't go away, the comforter's not going to come. I'm going to send you another comforter. He says, then he says that I can be with you always. I'm going to leave so that I can be with you always.